Terima kasih Tuan Ketua Berkursi YBYB Saudara-saudari Tahun petang Terima kasih kerana memberi peluang kepada saya untuk buat uh, cap hari ini Thank you for this uh, opportunity to speak today. Thank you for uh, this chance to at least share the views at uh, the 2012 BAP Bio Convention. I just want to make a couple of points today in the limited time that I have. Uh, in the lead up to the general election, there is still so much to do, but so little time. But there is good news. At least Najib is panicking. Uh, he doesn't dare call the general elections because he knows that it is it for a fight. And then if he were to fight now, he would definitely lose. Right up. Yes. Because it seems like the Prime Minister enjoys following the opposition at the moment. Just on Friday, of course, uh, uh, Sadara Ningwane uh, brought up earlier that he was asked who donated 40 million ringgit to Amno and Sabah. He didn't want to say because the opposition doesn't disclose their donors either. It is interesting to note that Barisan is keen to follow the lead of Pakatan Raya. Ga 因为香格拜五我有人问他到底是是谁转了十十亿马币给沙巴的阿东十千万十千万我听你练不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不好不
NKRAs, ETP, GTP, so on and so forth. But we, when we look into these things, it looks nice on the outside, but inside, there's so little substance. Tell me which road in Malaysia is flat. Can anyone tell me which road in Malaysia is flat? How many tolls do we have to pay just to get from point A to point B? On the Kerinci Link, during rush hour, we go through a traffic jam just to get to the toll. And then after that, we join another traffic jam. Then, smooth man, no lah. Have to join another traffic jam. And just yesterday, I was in uh, YB Teresa Cox uh, area. And I was just driving down Oakland Road. And half of Oakland Road is underwater. I was actually wondering, <laughs> what on earth is going on in KL nowadays? When we rain, there's traffic jam. Not because people break down or not because our cars are so cha cha. Although some may disagree with me. But because half the road is underwater, why we live the egg? Yes, they also said that half of Sagambut will also be under rainwater if this is not actually handled. And can you believe this? You mean after 55 years, we don't even have a proper drainage system? Smart Tunnel is supposed to be facilitating KL's rainwater system. But it just seems to be piling up, you know, more and more traffic jams. Spending half an hour, one hour, two hours to get four or five kilometers. How is this acceptable? Is this acceptable? Is this acceptable? Kerajaan Vian sangat suka membina bangunan yang lebih tinggi, yang lebih besar, yang paling mewah. Putra Jaya Saga Jaya KLCC Menara KL Iskandar Semuanya syok Najib dia sendiri Beritahu saya jalan mana, jalan mana di Malaysia kita ini rata Berapa banyak tol yang perlu kita bayar dari destinasi A ke B Sebagai contoh di lingkaran Kerinci kita mengalami sesakan lalu lintas hanya untuk melintasi satu tol dan serutut dan seterusnya ke Labu Raya Persekutuan dan mengalami kesesakan lalu lintas semula Adakah dengan membayar tol akan memudah, uh, memudahkan perjalanan kita? It's supposed to make our life easier But here's the thing I think as the DAP, we are well aware of what issues there are What are we facing? And this is the crucial time that we come up to the general election. But here's the here's the rub over here. Just winning the election is not enough to declare victory, ladies and gentlemen. The real work begins when Akatan Raya and the DAP as part of it becomes and forms the federal government to tackle the crucial issues one by one by going back to the basics. Yes, corruption is a huge issue and everyone is talking about it, but until today, I've not heard a single person from the Barrister of National who said that he, would, he or she would stand up to corruption. But this is our policy, this is in our manifesto, and this is something that we have to push through. But here's the issue. It's great to talk about corruption. It's talk, great to talk about cows in condominiums, diamond rings, submarines. But the thing is that these are just stories to a lot of the ordinary people. Some of them, well, most of us, we face some very real problems nowadays that affect us on a day-to-day -day basis. I would just like to talk to, to about two of them today, if the speaker will permit me. So I will... First, there is the very, number one, there is the very real problem of the cost of living. And secondly, it is also empowering the younger generation and getting them to stand up and making their voice heard. And can I ask all of you here, how much extra is in your pocket today? <laughs> it seems like no matter how hard we work, our wallets seem to be shrinking and shrinking. 
These days, a fresh graduate doesn't get more than 2,000 ringgit a month. Or if he's a university graduate, he doesn't get, he's lucky to get 2003, 2004. But think about this. Subtract your EPF. Subtract your rental, your PTPTN loan, your car loan, your touch and go, your food, your phone bill, your electricity bill. What is left? What is left? Less than zero, my friends. We are piling up our debt. Woman the Chen Bao, Hayo Chen Ma. Hayo Chen Ma. Eating may yo. In way. Way shimoda. Sen Zai Bian Chen Sheng. The the Xin Sui. Shi Cha Bu Duo. Liang Chen Duo Kwai. Jen Diao EPF. Zhu Fei. Uh, uh, Zhu Fei. Guang Si. Zhu Fei. Qi Chi. Uh, hey, at least water in Spangle is free, right? And some of parts of KL benefit from it. But how many of you have dared to drink out of your tap lately? I have a friend here selling purified water because we know that in Malaysia, this is one of our major concerns. Do you dare drink water out of your tap anymore? Most of us end up in investing our own personal filtration system because Siamas is incapable of supplying clean water. You should see my house when the water comes out when we flush the filtration system and it's blacker than the Klang River. Every day, there's no water in the dam. Exactly. <laughs> but in less than 10 years, not only would this country go bankrupt, but people will be left with no savings, no assets, and a mountain of debt. Najib knows this, but he still turns around to the people to ask us to change our spending habits. What spending exactly is he talking about? If he wants to talk about spending habits, surely austerity needs to start from home, right? However, I don't think uh, Rosma will be too happy about that. About going austerity, cutting spending, not in the vocabulary. So, Sadara, you have uh, two more minutes. Thank you. So, I want to just say how can the Pakistan government reduce the cost of living? YB Tony Pua recently said that a few simple steps. First, would be to make Proton competitive by getting rid of APs. Malaysia has the most expensive cars in the whole of the ASEAN region, apart from Singapore, but at least in Singapore there's public transport. In Malaysia, when you graduate, what's the first thing that you do? You don't find a job, you find a car. Otherwise your employer's gonna ask you, do you have your own transport? You say no, then you can't get the job. So how? But car loans take up almost 40% of their, their monthly salary. But it is important that we are able to boost their spending power. At least then our economy shall be able to progress. We complain about low wages in this country, but when your economy is based on what the government does rather than what the private sector does, then you're in for a problem. And briefly, I want to, the second topic I want to raise today is to ensure the youth of this nation is given an official platform to speak up. And I'm talking about people between the ages of 21 and 35. Malaysia is a young country, and we know this, and I am glad to be part of that demographic. And in the last general election, it was this group of people that gave Barasa National the shock of their lives. And it is in this general election that the young people will be the ones to push through the opposition into power. But the problem right here, I would want to urge the leaders of DAP and Bhaktan Raya as a whole not to neglect this crucial group of people. A lot of them are overseas, and it's not because they choose to be overseas, it's because their parents told them not to come back. Malaysia already has no hope. This is a very, very sad story. We are losing them to the likes of Australia, UK, Taiwan, and even Singapore. And here's the thing, the Y generation, we are fickle. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everything can change in a matter of days, weeks, or months. So you, we have to continue engaging with them. 
getting them involved, getting them moving. If we fail to adapt, there's a danger that we ourselves will no longer be relevant. I'm proud to be a DAP member for the past four years, and I want to commend our leaders and all the members of our party for your continuous hard work. But when I see the party growing from strength to strength with strong leadership, there's always things that we have to work on. This is not the time for party politics or division or disunity. This is what Barisan National wants, but we are not going to give that to them. DAP internal spat, DAP leadership fallout, our media friends love reporting these things. But what we need to do is put together a united front with our partners, PASS and PKL. And nothing can stop us from making history in G13. Let us work hard, stay united, continue to listen to the needs of the Rakyat, keep praying, and never lose hope. This is only the beginning, and this is our beginning. Kido Rakyat, Mansukan, Barisan National. Terima kasih. Thank you so much for your presentation. Thank you. Uh, my name is Douglas Tan. Douglas Tan. From? Segambun 202. Okay, thank you. Okay, terima kasih kepada saudara Douglas Tan. Ada tak siapa, siapa lagi yang ingin memang ambil bantuan?